I'd like to show you a pack of cards that are all different. What I'd like you to do is just drop your finger anywhere in the pack you like. That's great, but in the pack, not on the pack. Let's try this once again. Drop your finger anywhere you'd like. Look at the card, remember it. Drop it back. Watch it go from the center right to the top. Was that your selected card? Yeah. Let me cut these one more time and look what happens. It jumps right back in the what? top. Let me cut them one more time and look what happens. It goes right back oh, to the top. On. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cut them one time. We're going to take the four of hearts. We're going to place that right in my pocket. This time just say stop. Stop. Please take a look at the card. Don't forget it. Yeah. Watch what happens because that nine from the pack is now where the four of hearts is. <laughs> well, where's the four of hearts? Take a look. It's now on top of the pack. <laughs> I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make, uh, let's, let's cut these into one, two, three piles. Pick any pile you'd like. Uh, the middle one. Interesting how the nine of hearts is there, but watch <laughs> it go from there all the way over to here. Watch it go from this pile over this pile. Now you're thinking, how is that done when you have a pack of cards that are all different? Well, that's interesting to say because watch what happens. If we take this nine of hearts, place it on the bottom, the whole deck now becomes the nine what? of hearts. That's right. Well, you can't do many card tricks or play many card games with the nine of hearts. Let's just take it and let's make them all different again. The Svengali deck is a classic in Magic that dates all the way back to 1909. It's a great trick for the beginner, as well as more seasoned performers. It's also the perfect way to force a card in any situation, even if you're not very dexterous with a deck of cards. With the Svengali deck, you'll look like a pro.